Howdy. Welcome to Beaver Mountain Works on this short little video we're going to be doing. Uh, it's a series, you know, get a time lapse. We're uh, <clears throat> going to be uh, working on a cane for an individual. He brought me this cane and uh, some components from it. And we're going to be doing a, a braiding on here on this thing over here with the uh, some leather and then down at the bottom down here we're going to be doing checkering like what they do on the grips on the on rifles and the stock of rifles and that so we're going to do a form of checkering what i've done is built a cradle up here to fit the piece in and i figured out the <clears throat> diameter of the circumference of the uh end piece of the cane here and then i had to calculate he wants diamonds here, so I had to calculate to do diamonds, and this is a tapered piece, so we had to figure that calculation out and everything. That's what this piece of paper is here. It's my calculation up here. We drew our straight lines, and I used half inch as a base, and now I'm just drawing in the lines now with my nice sharp pencil. It's just general, general lines in here, and uh, just do these all the way down. And, Follow all the way through. One to there and one to here. And just keep doing that. And then I'll reverse it here. See the diamond here? I'm going to erase the middle part here. You can see the diamond a little bit stronger. There, 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 there. Diamonds like that. So basically just marking it right now. And then the next part of the video here, you'll see me cutting these out with my checkering tools. So, see you in a moment. So, um, I got all the lines marked on here everything I wanted for my triangles and now I'm roughing out the initial cut with my checkering tool and uh, this is the initial one that I'm doing and I'm just slowly uh, just putting a initial line into it and uh, once I get that in place then I will start using my other tools cutting tools and deepening in and straightening out the line to make sure everything looks nice and pretty and uh, I'll have you back for that. <clears throat> Onto the upper portion of the cane now. I have everything uh, put tucked together here. We're going to braid this going on down to the end down here. 12 braid. Some deer skin. It's actually an elk skin. It's not deer. It's a little thicker, the oak is. So, so I get it starting to braid, I'll continue on. So, um, as you can see, I've started and, and I'm gonna have to tighten these all up. I have to pull them up and tighten them so they're tight like this. I have to reset everything, pulling it in, but um, this is the braiding that's coming on down. And I'm just buzzing along here, just making sure that I Get it right. That one comes around here, the back side, and goes over that two there, and under these two here, and over that two there, and comes back to that side, and pull through. And it's just a process of continuously braiding, and as I said, I'm gonna have to tighten everything up once I get nearer, closer to the bottom, and you guys will get to see that. So um, last time we left off just a moment ago for you guys, a long time for me, um, I was needing to deepen these. So we deepened the holes. We have all our diamonds here. They're all nicely done up there. It's the main work. And then we have to do some prep work over top of it to finish it. But we want to talk to the client and see if the client wants any kind of checkering inside the diamonds. Once it any a little bit more intricate every other one or every single one or leave them as it is as we work with the client to get the clients 
opinion because this is for them it's for you as the customer we manufacture it for you you also see um, in the uh, <clears throat> video there just before you'll see that we were starting to lace this and now I have to do the final cleanup where tidy things up and move things around to adjust them normally this is done on a rope so it will turn and twist as the rope goes where on the cane it's a solid piece here so we're going to try to adjust it straighten things out when you're actually doing it they it moves as you're going so we'll get this adjusted the best way we can and uh finish off the end down here with probably a turkish knot or something like that on the end here something on the top here to decorative what the client wants and uh, go from there so now i have all the braiding done on here and i i used a spanish knot on the top and a spanish knot on the bottom i left a little fringe here where the connectors are I have to take it to the client. This hasn't been dyed the rich color that he wants it. And ask if we need to do any more lines in between here. Some intermediate offset. I have to talk to the client. But you can see here I've got all the braiding done. It's all nicely braided. and I'll go talk to him uh, actually tomorrow. So just... Uh... Took it to the client, and the client likes these diamonds. There's some added cutting to be done in between for up to five down here. We're going to fill these all in, left and right, make it more checkered, just like on a rifle stock. But he wants to have them deeper, too. I didn't want to go too deep until I got his approval. And uh, we're working on deepening the main holes, or the main lines, and then I will do this upper portion here in a bit so um, as you can see just doing the final touches here putting on a, a, a nice wax finish for the cane and you can see here that it's all been checkered all the way around and uh, we did the larger checker and then this is a fine so that way he has something to grip his fingers when he takes the cane from this direction here in case he needs to use it. Smack some idiot over the head that's giving him a hard time. Who knows? <laughs> and uh, the next thing you'll see is everything all finished and assembled. Well, we've come to the end of this video and as you can see I'm about to go and sport this out for our client. Bring it off to him. Hello, how you doing there, Miss Bianca? You going for a walk with us as well? You can see this fine looking cane that we've done up for our client. And I'll take it out for a, this is a 12 braid kangaroo. And um, checkering on here, and you like the checkering here. Beautiful horse head. We didn't make the cane, but we sure accidentally we pimped it out. So y'all take care now, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Beaver Mount Works. And hit that bell there so you get notification, and sign up at beavermountworks.com for our newsletter. You can get a weekly newsletter and a video of stuff we're talking about. Y'all take care now.